Hey, what is going on everybody? Today, I will be going over the worst crew skins in Fortnite. So a little while ago, I went over the best crew skins to ever be released into Fortnite, but I never ended up going over the worst crew skins. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video, which is going over the worst crew skins according to the Fortnite community. So if you guys happen to enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you'd like to support the channel any further, make sure to use my supporter creator code MJB7 in the Fortnite item shop. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alrighty guys, so getting into the first skin here, which is Jing. Now Jing was released in Chapter 5 Season 3, and he has a 43% approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now I've actually seen a lot of mixed opinions on this skin, but pretty much the main complaints I've seen with Jing are that players don't really like his overall design, many players don't like the color patterns on this skin, and many say that Jing is overall a boring skin. Now I can't can understand some of these criticisms. I don't think Jing is going to be a skin that appeals to everyone. I can see why some players may not like his color patterns on the base style, and I can also see why some players may not enjoy his design. However, me personally, I actually think his design is pretty cool. I do like his outfit. I think it looks pretty nice on him, and his face design is also pretty cool as well. And I also really appreciate all the different styles that this skin has. My favorite style with this skin is actually his operatic legacy style style. I really like how that style is half red and half blue. And the rest of his legacy styles, especially the cosmic legacy style, I think they all look really good on him. So I think he is an overhated skin. However, I can understand why some players would find this skin boring and why many players would consider him to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the next skin, which is Snow Stealth Sloan. Now Sloan was released in Chapter 3 Season 1, and she has a 41% approval rating for from the Fortnite community. Now, the main complaints I've seen with Sloan is that many players do not like that she's a reskin of Dr. Sloan from an earlier season, and many players also say that her design is pretty generic and she lacks variety. And honestly, I'd probably agree with all of these complaints. In my opinion, there should be no reskins in any of these crew packs. And I also think this skin definitely could have had more variety with her. I think the base style is pretty boring, and there's only one other style with this skin, which is the winter sunset style. Now, I will admit that style actually looks pretty good, but still, this skin is pretty forgettable overall. There's nothing too special with this skin, and she's not better than the original one either, so I can definitely understand why many players would consider her to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the next skin, which is Green Arrow. Now, Green Arrow was released in Chapter 2 Season 5, and he has a 40% approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now this is actually the first collab skin on this list, and the main complaints I've seen with Green Arrow is that he lacks variety because he doesn't have any other styles. Now I do think this complaint is understandable. I know there's several different designs with Green Arrow, and I'd probably say this skin of Green Arrow represents the one from the Arrow TV show, and I think it's a great representation of Green Arrow. He looks pretty cool overall, and everything is pretty accurate to the TV show. However, I do agree that he could have had more styles. Fortnite could have added other styles that represent some of his older costumes and other variations of Green Arrow, even just some other color variation of Green Arrow, literally any other style. Fortnite definitely could have included something, so I can't understand why many players would consider Green Arrow to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the next skin, which is Allie. Now, Allie was released in Chapter 2 Season 6, and she has a 40% approval approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now honestly, I've seen this skin get a lot of hate from the Fortnite community. Many players don't like the design of this skin. I've seen many players say that she's a knockoff and worse version of Lynx. And overall, players just really hate Allie. And me personally, I kind of agree with that hate. Do I think she's slightly overhated? Yes. But I also still don't really like this skin. I'm just not too big on this design. I kind of agree that the design of this skin isn't that good. And I also feel like there just should have been more styles with this skin as well. I feel like there could have been a good three or four extra styles with this skin, and I think she would have benefited a lot from that. So I can definitely understand why many players would consider Ali to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the next skin, which is Rift Knight Kieran. Now Rift Knight Kieran was released in Chapter 4 Season 1, and he has a 39% approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now the main complaints I've seen with Kieran is that Kieran is overall 
call a boring skin, players don't really like the design of his skin, and many players also say that he lacks variety. Now me personally, I can understand these complaints from the Fortnite community. I definitely think this skin could have had more styles. Fortnite could have added like some sort of armor upgrade. I think that would have looked really cool. But yeah, this skin definitely could have had some extra styles. But I do think he is a little bit overhated by the Fortnite community. But still, I can kind of understand why some players would consider him to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the next skin, which is Wolverine Zero. Now Wolverine Zero was released in Chapter 3 Season 3, and he has a 33% approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now the main complaints I've seen with this skin is that many players think that Wolverine should have had some extra styles, and that this version of Wolverine should not have been a crew skin at all. And I can understand some of these complaints. I think he definitely should have had some extra styles, such as being able to at least take off the eye patch, or even being able to add like an additional Wolverine mask onto him. I think that would have been a nice addition to this skin. And I also think this skin should have just been in the item shop. There's just not enough going on with him to be worth putting as the crew skin. I think crew skin should be some of the more unique skins in Fortnite to get players to buy the crew pass in the first place. So I can definitely understand why many players would say that Wolverine Zero is one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the next skin, which is Red Claw. Now Red Claw was released in Chapter 3 Season 4, and he has a 32% approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now the main complaints I've seen from the Fortnite community is that many players say that he looks like some other skins we've gotten previously, and many players also say that he lacks variety within his styles. Now me personally, I'd have to agree with these complaints. Now I don't think Red Claw is really that bad of a skin, but he definitely feels unoriginal because he reminds me of a few skins, some of those skins being Bites and Demos, which were both released before this skin came out. And I also think Fortnite could have given this skin an extra style or two. The only other style he has is pretty much just removing his mask. So I would definitely say that Fortnite was a little bit lazy with this skin for sure. So I can definitely see why many players would consider Red Claw to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But moving on to the final skin of this video, which is the Operator. Now the Operator was released in Chapter 5 Season 3, and she has a 28% approval rating from the Fortnite community. Now the main complaints I've seen with the Operator is that many players just don't like her design or her color patterns on her base style, or the color patterns on all her other styles, and I can understand some of these complaints from the Fortnite community. I think this skin is honestly pretty forgettable, there's nothing too special with her design. However, I don't think she's really a bad skin. I think she's a decent skin overall. I don't really like the color patterns on her base style, but the good thing is Fortnite gave her some decent variety, with her second style being the Machinist's Legacy, which is probably my favorite style with this skin. And then there's four other Legacy styles with this skin, which give her some decent variety overall. So I don't really think she's like an amazing skin whatsoever, but I also don't really think she's a bad skin. However, I can see why some players would not like her design or color patterns, so it's understandable why many players would consider her to be one of the worst crew skins in Fortnite. But anyways guys, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you guys agree with this list or not, and let me know what you guys think are the worst crew skins to ever be released into Fortnite. But if you did happen to enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on the video, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.